Reluma and Rose's recovery isn't so difficult for Musu to edge guard either. Also, she's a big, she's big size, so up smash is even more dangerous. And I know Rich, if he can, he will run up up smash versus a lot of people. And I think it's really viable against Rosalina, even, especially yeah. if he calls out spawn, maybe like jumping or doing like a spot dodge at a bad spot. So, uh, if uh, Rosal does lose this matchup, it's probably only by a slight margin yeah. because. She can still just dis Luma plus uh, Mewtwo weight. Yeah. I just feel like that doesn't go hand in hand. <laughs> no, you don't want that. <laughs> so but we'll see. It's been quite a bit since I've seen these two play. And it's very interesting because both these characters are very similar in terms of like what they do. Both of them very uh, they're floaty zoner type characters, mm. and they both like kind of thrive off of grabs. Mewtwo more so for killing, and then Rosa more so for like the early percentages gets those you know true combos into the up throw up air. Right now, though, Fallen looking really nice. Mm, even the Nair. So even though Rich isn't really killing the Luma, we see how much time he's putting it up into the air. So it really like kind of like disarm because Luma has to come back down until it's active. Mm. So essentially just disarming it and finally now killing it. So, but Fallen has the lead. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I think Fallen recognizes that it's at this point it's up to Rich to really find an opening that he can exploit heavily. Oh. Okay, see the bread and butters on Luma. Another thing to note, I'm not too sure if uh, Fallen is super familiar with the timing, but whenever you teleport to the ledge, it's a bigger it's bigger than a two frame window to catch the two frame. Mm. So uh, Luma Dare can really like be really good in that situation essentially. Even like these falling backers by the ledge, really good at catching that teleport. But you kinda have to like hard read when he's gonna do it. Okay. Just like that, another Luma gone, and Rich doing a really good job of disarming these Lumas, but Fallen still has his percentage lead. He does not have to come in. He can take his time. Uh, not so much. Dang. When that when the back throw almost kills. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, but the Luma, the Dark Luma is back. Oh, I love the desync there just to block the Shadow Ball. Dash, Dash attack? attacks? Oh, still almost. not enough. But I love how Fallen is really controlling the center stage because even if Rich puts it in the tumble, he has a lot of stage to work with to call Luma back. So it won't really tumble off stage. But here comes the Shadow Ball. The jab, going to do it. It's just enough. Yeah, I'm, honestly, Rich has been doing a decent job of just getting rid of Luma, but his punches on Rosa when she does not, doesn't have Luma just really haven't been that strong. Yeah, I feel like Fallen is playing a really, like, when he has Luma, he puts on a lot of damage. And then when he doesn't have Luma, he's doing a really good job of stalling time or evading or getting some of these rogue dash attacks that maybe Rich isn't expecting. So it buys him a lot of time. Okay, opportunity here for Rich. Another thing to note is the uh, Luma can also body block the Shadow Ball. So we, yes. we, we see that Rich isn't using too much Shadow Ball when Luma is up. And then yeah. when Luma's down, you kind of don't want to like sit back and charge Shadow Ball. You want to put the pressure on. Yeah. Fallen is actually also doing a really good job of uh, positioning Luma to actually take the <laughs> Shadow Ball hits. Again, another aggressive option from Fallen, catching Rich off guard. Ooh, I like that. Let's drop double jump desync and these space fares. Wow. You know what's crazy? Right. Mewtwo's in kill percent right now. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's why Fallen can so. Oh, like, but we out. Oh, we yeah. Live in. Okay. We live in. But okay. Yeah, Luma's Luma gone. Luma troubles. The ledge trap, though, and these high platforms are going to be so good for Rosa. Um, just makes the ledge jump a little stronger, but... but yeah, yeah watch that Mewtwo up there as well. <laughs> Collection that jump. That, that, that young up there got buffed. Shout oh, out to Sakurai. <laughs> yeah, he must have really liked Mewtwo. <laughs> maybe, like, maybe Mewtwo sales were down, and they're like, yo, man, we need to, we need yo, to get this guy up here and more tourneys. And then, like, right after the buff, like, Abba wins pound <laughs> with him. Yo, thanks, Abba. <laughs> okay, oh, but the I actually really mm -hmm. like that. Uh, I like when you have Ro um, Luma going one direction and Rosa trying to chase, and you can just kind of fight Luma while yeah. keeping Rosa at bay. Ooh, okay. Good uh, good swing there from Rich. Definitely wanted to set up like a down air or something like that. Tries to get the forward air. Oh, really good clank for Rich on the up yeah. air to beat out Luma in hitbox. And oh. honestly, this is a, a game where Rich can actually steal back. Yeah, he's got the rage. Ro oh. Ooh, that up smash, though. Bet it all right there, and yeah. I feel like a couple neutral exchanges and a grab would have done it, especially on the town and city. But Rich willing to bet it all there, and 
Um, falling, kind of just switching up his air drift at the last second. That Rosalina air dodge, like, disappearing. Kind of like, <laughs> wow, <laughs> they kind of have similar air dodges. Yeah. They both disappear. But, yeah, he, he was able to switch up his air dodge right there. So, really good stuff to fall in and just getting that solid up smash punish after the Mewtwo up smash. So, game number uno going to fall in. Yeah, really clean stuff. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, shame that Rich felt he had to bet it all in that type of situation. Um, up smash is amazing versus Rosa, but I really don't feel that he was conditioning Fallen to, you know, position himself in a bad spot to get caught by that move. So just throwing it out kind of like randomly hoping it hit, not, not the best look. Oh, yeah. Rich going high with the neutral air. Fallen. Ooh, I like the turnaround there. The there you go. connecting. All right. It's, up smash is also really strong because uh, if even if Rosalina does the whole disappearing out with the air dodge, it's active for so long that you can't really land on top of him with a uh, with an air dodge or a really weak move. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Fallen just maneuvering his Luma around to the point where Rich still hasn't killed his first Luma, especially with this uh, with Mewtwo. So much great tools to disarm it. This should be it. No forward air though on the Luma. And yeah, this is really big because after that up throw, you're giving Fallen the Luma in disadvantage so, so big and an unfortunate SD. Uh, Hate that, to see that, man. That's actually a pretty uh, bad spot to SD just because of the percent that Fallen's at. He's not in really a percent where Rich will, can make him feel uncomfortable. Yeah, but Rich. Oh. Mm. Oh, and he's still alive. I mean, I okay. For it. Uh, no rage. Yeah, Fallen's <laughs> just going to look at the other side and say, okay, Ooh. thanks. Luckily, didn't get the, the sour hit into the strong hit, but this is a lot of damage when it comes to fighting Rosa as Mewtwo. Yeah, and the boost grab can be so hard to deal with because it's an attack as well. So, Fallen just utilizing that tech very, very well. Rich trying to call out the jump, but Fallen just stalling this time. <laughs> I like the mix-up to the high recovery, but still gets the swap, no, but not still enough. still living. Great DI coming out here for Fallen. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, not sure. Maybe... That's a super mix-up. Yeah. Definitely didn't expect that one. Yeah, maybe he just got a little <laughs> scared of the potential of a forward air from Rich, but... Maybe Fallen wanted to wipe his rage so he can get an up throw, up air, up air. <laughs> maybe. Okay, but the Luma is down. Rich still at the ledge, though. Okay, Fallen, gonna reset. This is scary, too, because if you keep Rosa by the edge of the stage, then when the respawn comes, Luma would be right by the edge, so oh. it's really important. It's it's hard, but you have to essentially like get some stage control with Lumaless Rosa. Interesting. Ooh, I like the uh, cancel there from the edge. Okay, Rich is trying to fight back into this game after that unfortunate uh, early SD. Wow, and the Nair gonna catch Rich, but the dash attack coming in, closing in the gap. This Luma looks like it'll spawn. Oh wow, I've what? not seen that one before. Dang. You know, all these Rosa players, man, they got the tricks. Yeah, I, I like he, he confirmed off of fair. Yeah, not even Jack design or fair. Like maybe like one hit of the forward air uh, that didn't like spike. Yo. And send him up into up air. Dang. That's like, actually really nice, especially since he did it without Luma. Yeah, I mean, I guess Rosa's got those uh, con <laughs> no Luma required confirms falling out here, showing showing how it's supposed to be done with Rosalina. Mm. And now he's up 2-0. This, this is. And that's another thing about the SD2, like on, on a pivotal game like Game 2 where you want to like equalize the set, mm. uh, yeah, Rich, Rich is going to have to pick it up and really play amazing to get this reverse 3 -0. but it's definitely still a possibility. We've seen it m time and time again. Oh, yeah. Especially from Rich. Oh, yeah, for sure. Rich, Rich. Ooh, dang, that was clean. That Lunar landing into the grab. Yeah, such, Lunar landing is such an uh, amazing... Uh, yeah, and we saw the Shadow Ball, Luma actually eating up the Shadow Ball, and uh, Fallen was just able to dash tag. So you see yeah. how it can be difficult. Like, Mewtwo just has to play a little different, maybe not so Shadow Ball heavy. Okay. We're slowly looking for our thing, but yeah, Fallen's all over it. Yeah, he, Fallen's just doing a, such a good job faking when he's going to come in and fade back, and he's, ju he's just doing such a good job of controlling this little circle in the middle of Battlefield. That's I feel like that stage control is so right. essential on this stage particularly just because of how the platform layouts are and how it can be hard to come off the platforms when someone has that center stage. Yeah, exactly, because then they'll just wait where you want to maybe fall for the back air, like air dodge, and then punish you for it. But yeah. Luma's out of there. Rich has kind of been in the same position for majority of this set. He's going to have to capitalize as much as he can. Did get a DI in on that throw, but maybe a little bit too floaty. 
For yeah. feel comfortable following up. Ooh, gets the Nair. Okay, we got the desync. Okay, he brings it back. Ooh, tries to get that down air I was talking about. <laughs> but we oh, just classic. doing it raw up in here. Yeah, so good. I like that he always, uh, for, well, for the most part, he's always like in that crouch spacing. Yeah. So if they jump off the stage with a fair, it'll most likely whiff punish into up smash. And it's crazy, too, because he showed the down air, too, right? He's like, uh, this is what will happen to you if you go low. Then force rich high and then just got that up smash. Really smart stuff. Yeah, keeping up the pressure. Luma is back online here. Very troublesome spot. And this corner pressure yeah. from the Luma. Okay, tried to get the lunar landing there. Not going to get it. Rich has the up smash. Fire. Okay, finally going to catch that. I know he's been waiting to catch that up air for pretty much the whole set so far. Okay, we got the teleport cancels. Definitely why Rich picked this stage. Okay, the Shadow Ball definitely going to attack on some damage there on Luma, but still Texas? alive. Oh, that's a... S wow, get the Luna Lenny as well. <laughs> Dude, that's so scary. Yeah. That's on one of the scariest tech changes I've seen from a character in this game. On a short hop down air or up air from Rosalina, she still has enough time to squeeze in a Lunar Landing right before she lands. Oh my goodness. So it's really good we see Fallen utilizing that with the Nair or the back air. And it's so scary because you can confirm off that Lunar Landing. Yeah, it's that's... so crazy. Yeah, and it's like... Uh, it seems very safe on shield regardless. Oh, Rich but didn't get rid of the Luma though. Oh, going through the platform as well. We got a slight desync here. Oh, that <laughs> looks so nice. This pressure from this desync pressure from Fallen is just disgusting. Oh, <laughs> kind of yeah. hanging over the ledge there, able might to get have, back on stage. It might have been waiting for Rich to do another ledge jump into the up smash. Okay. Dash attack actually looking like a slight whiff punch. They're going like ducking under the shadow ball. It should be a dead Luma, but he misses. Okay, able to pick it back up with that down tilt. Okay, let's see what the moment is, of truth is here for Rich. One stock away but from being sent to lose his bracket. He just needs one to stay a, into the set here. Oh wow, what a downer! Yeah, and Rich does. Ooh, the fair. Oh, oh but the upper. Oh my goodness, that almost killed. Almost. What's the desync trap here from Fallen? Oh my oh, goodness! That was so Luma smart. protected his back from the forwarder. Yeah, and you see Fallen kind of. Oh, but the up throw, oh, gonna no, do it even on battle. Hanging on just by a, a thread. Yeah, and you saw how Fallen throws the Luma. <coughs> Rich is now in a position where it's like, do you want to hit the Luma or do you want to ledge trap Fallen? Mm. And then if you pick ledge trap Fallen, he can ledge drop, double jump, do a, like something towards you with right. the Luma. So it's it's very tricky. Luma tricks in disadvantage, which I really like. Yeah. And another thing about this battlefield pick as well, I feel like both players just get more tools in disadvantage because Mewtwo has a teleport cancel, right. but also Rosa can kind of camp the platforms with no Luma, as we yeah. saw Fallen doing on that second stock on game three. Yeah, even with no Luma, he, he uh, was running away, but at the same time throwing out a uh, hitbox like reactively. Yes. Where if Rich is like, okay, you have no Luma, I need to hit you. Jump in a bad spot, get down there. And then Luma's back. So, uh... He'll even use the downers to kind of, like, poke through the platforms as right. well. It's really, really good. Yeah, there's a few characters that have really good downers that could uh, use that. Like, namely, uh, Cloud, um, Donkey Kong even, yeah. Villager. Okay, Rich really clean so far. Gets rid of the Luma, applying some pressure here on Fallen, but... Again, just Fallen using these platforms to just defuse that pressure, waiting for Look, Luma to get again. back. He saw, he saw Rich... <laughs> jumped at him because he wanted to hit him without Luma, then Fallen saw that, hit him with the down air, and then Luma came right back. It's clean disarm right there. Fallen kind of extending outward um, with the uh, Luma trying to get a kill, but Rich going to have a clean punish on that. Yeah. And now, now Rich has the lead, so he doesn't really have to... Oh, wait, Fallen. no, R yeah, Fallen has lead. Okay, so he's, he still has to come in, yep. but again, just these, these platforms are just defusing so much pressure. Yeah, honestly, uh, the more this has been going on, the more Kundra I feel Fallen is playing. Yeah, and even if, like, Rich seems to be being a little bit more passive even when the Luma's down, charging more Shadow Balls and stuff, but it, it is questionable if that's good or not because you're just giving him more time. And <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of down might not airs. have been a good pick. <laughs> that well, this is Fallen's counter pick. Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. But, yeah, that's a good counter pick. <laughs> that's a good counter pick. <laughs> that ledge. Yeah, and we are so talking cool. about Rosa's downer going through platforms. Well, yeah. Battlefield, you can go through that ledge and get yeah. some pretty uh, pretty successful hits. Oh, yeah, it seems so good for his music because he always wants to jump in that spot, and his jump starts pretty so slow. Oh, man, double up air. 
you know Rose is confident when they just start juggling you with no loot. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, dang, that's, yo. that's what I've been seeing from Fawn a lot. Clean punish on the up smash here. And, okay. Rich able to swing his way now, but doesn't disarm the Luma once again. And Fawn going to reset on these platforms, but going to get rid of the, the blue Luma. Okay. I know Rich wants to make something happen as soon as possible. He's still down on stacking. And Fawn is like, I'll trade with you all day, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. Whatever, dude. <laughs> keep trading, keep trading. And oh, Ooh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Right I'm not. That, you're not like the only one that can dare through this uh, battlefield ledge. Dang. What a response coming out from Rich. But he's oh, yeah. down 81%. Oh my goodness, Vaughn's saying just just keep jumping, man. <laughs> you already know where this what this loom is gonna do. And Rosalina dash attack is so good at catching landings because she dips low as well. So even sometimes if you throw out a hitbox, she'll dip under it and hit you. Exactly. You cool. saw her earlier with the, the shadow ball. He was able to duck under the shadow ball and get the dash attack. Okay. Oh my Yo, goodness! Dang. Fall through up there with no Luma. Falling out here trying to end this without Luma. No Luma required. But he's by the edge, and see right there, I love the play. So Fallen jumps, dick, like, just goes for... Yeah, that's yeah, going to be it. Clean, but yeah, he, 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 like, goes for that middle platform just so Luma kind of, like, is in the middle of the right. stage when it spawns in. So that was really smart from Fallen, and he closed out with, looks like an up smash, so... Yeah, really good caught uh, Rich doing a retreating jump. Like, maybe we are retreating for air, but before you can even touch the ground, just quick up smash from Fallen. And, uh, I don't know, man, he's still... He might be the Grim Reaper at Locals, man.